Today, Jensen Brooksby over his countryman, Dennis Kudla. And we'll go ahead and begin with Rachel Stolman. Rachel. Jensen, congratulations on the win today. Um, you know, how important was it to break Dennis late in the third and save two break points and serving out the win on your second match point? Uh, definitely, definitely was important. Uh, three break points. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I was, the third set was back and forth affair, uh, was a holding serve. I was, I was just trying to focus on my strategy. Uh, it was a little, a little streaky, but I, 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 I locked down a five all. I was able to get a good break of serve and then fought through some nerves to hold at the end. And what have you learned about yourself and your two victories in Newport? And, and what do these back-to-back -back wins and reaching the quarterfinals of the ATP 250 mean to you and your confidence moving forward? Uh, I, I feel I'm getting more comfortable on the grass day by day out here from the from the first day, and now I've had a couple of matches in, so I'm I'm feeling more confident on the surface, and um, I I know if I have this level to uh, get these results, but I'm I'm definitely happy to prove it right away from a start here at this level, and um, hope to hope to keep it going. That's good luck. Thanks. All right, we'll go to Nina Pantich. And just a reminder to everyone, please raise your virtual hand if you have a question. We'll go with Nina. Hey, Jensen. So I know that this is ATP, but you started off at the ITF level. How has your experience been at these lower tournaments with the, the less prize, meaning the less, the less matches you can get in? How has your start been? Start to the year, you mean, or just as this whole? Start as a, yeah. Um, it's 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 been good. I've I've enjoyed playing this year after I didn't get to play at all in 2020, and um, I've I definitely enjoy competing week in week out. I I, I love what I do, and I'm happy to have had a pretty good start so far of the year. Pretty pretty consistent, and yeah, I I just hope to keep it going. It's it's the long run. There's you know hopefully many more years. So I just hope to keep getting better. How important is match play to you at this stage of your career? It's it's definitely important for me to get more matches in more tournaments. I've I feel I've played less tournaments on average so far, but um, done pretty well in a good amount of them. So I've still had some good amount of match play. But it's definitely important to get more comfortable with matches, get used to it because it, it's you can tr you can train try to make the training similar, but it's it's not going to be the exact same as the match. So it's it's important. Exactly. Has anything surprised you this week at this level in Newport? Not really. <laughs> I, I, I know what to expect going in, and I, I, I believe in my skills and my level, and I just, I just hope to go out there and prove that as consistently as possible. All right, thank you. Time. Thank you, Nina. We'll go with Scott. Thanks. Hey, hey, Jensen, how are you? Good. Um, you, uh, you have this great confidence about you and the way you talk right now. Um, you hear about the next big thing in American tennis. Do you ever consider yourself to be that way? You know, to be that that next guy. Uh, I was re ring. Um, I mean, I I don't really. I'd never try to think of it like that. I mean, I, uh, hopefully that uh, that'd be nice. But I just I I try to focus on myself, and hopefully the results will, um, you know, show show the people, show myself, and uh, take take care of the rest. Sorry about that, Scott. Did you have a follow-up? <laughs> no, I'm all set. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Peter, if you have any questions. Peter? Peter, you got to unmute again. Unmute. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I was just worried about putting Baylor in the rearview mirror. Was that, how much was that a very difficult decision? To turn pro? Yes. Um, it, it wasn't too tough for me. I, I, I knew going into it, I would go for one season and make the most out of that. And then even with COVID hitting and uh, not playing as much, I, I still felt it was the right decision for, me, for my tennis to go to go pro. I, I believed that I was ready and um, I, I just hope to keep proving that and improving every day. One well, quick question. I just wonder, how do you keep yourself focused and in the moment, playing one point at a time, thinking not too far ahead in each match, each point, you know, especially in that playing against yep. Ken, Ken uh, Dennis today. There were so many great shots. It was a very entertaining match to watch. And uh, just, you know, one shot here or there, and you just have to stay in the moment. How do you focus? 
the the biggest the best way to focus come match time point and point out is you, is you really have to do it in the trainings and the points in the lesson every every single time the more consistently i do it there is i'll be more confident and ready to do it come match time because if you don't do it well in training you're not all of a sudden gonna go out and and do it right in the match so i think that training the right way and training hard and doing those things are really important for it to help come match time all right thank you peter i believe that's all so thank you as well to jensen thank you everybody thanks